The bar muscle up can be broken down into three phases. The initial phase involves a high pull up. The second phase is a transition from the top of a pull up to the bottom of a dip. And the final phase is a straight bar dip to complete the movement. Although the bar muscle up can be done in a slow and controlled manner, it's rarely learned this way. Generally, people use explosive pulling power to get to the bottom of the dip. When done like this, the pulling and transition phases blend into a single movement. Before you can do the muscle up, you must be able to do high pull ups bringing your lower chest to the bar. This will ensure you have the pulling capacity to get to the support position. Generally, if you can get above the bar, the dip is easy and doesn't limit the movement. In the muscle up, the body doesn't travel in a pure vertical motion as you have to navigate around the bar. Rather, it travels in an arc with the chest moving behind the bar initially, then curving forward to bring your weight over it. To help with this trajectory, the muscle up starts with a slight swing forward. In contrast with rings, a false grip is less important when doing a muscle up on a bar. This is because with a fixed bar, it's easy to adjust your grip during the transition. This is especially true when doing the muscle up explosively, where you're ultimately weightless through this phase. With the explosive muscle up, I prefer a standard grip, as it's a stronger position for generating power. When using thicker bars or doing reps slowly, the false grip is more important. That's because with these methods, it's hard to switch your grip during the transition. By putting as much of your hand as you can over the bar to start with, you'll be in a better position to support yourself when you get to the dip. Where possible, keep your thumb around the bar to improve stability. Generally, it's easiest to learn the muscle up on a high fixed bar first. If you're training on the base bar, I encourage using a false grip. To perform the muscle up, start gripping the bar shoulder width apart or slightly wider, and allow a swing forward of about 20 to 30 degrees. You can practice this in isolation to get familiar with the timing. Try to extend the body as much as possible at the turning point of the swing. To follow through with the muscle up, initiate the pull just as you begin to swing back and lift as high as possible. As your head clears the bar, the body should start to curve around it with the chest moving forward. The hips will naturally flex as you do this. While this is the general technique, there are some subtleties that can help with the skill. Firstly, initiating the pull by depressing the shoulder blades will increase the height of your pull up. Then, as you perform the transition to the bottom of the dip, you can roll the shoulders forward with protraction and elevation. This will provide more range through the shoulders, allowing you to catch in a deeper dip position. You can practice this on a low bar with your feet on the ground before integrating it into the muscle up. The transition can be done with the elbows tucked, flaring out, or anywhere between. I encourage you to use the technique you find most comfortable and ensure painful positions are avoided. Both arms should move simultaneously rather than one then the other. When first learning the skill, try to lean over the bar and catch with your body resting on it before completing the dip. As you become more proficient, you can try to pull to the top in one continuous movement. You can also start with a larger swing and some leg drive to help you. As you improve, try to eliminate kipping and maintain a hollow body. Ideally, the movement will be driven by the upper body, and while the hips will naturally flex, they shouldn't help lift you. Now that technique's been covered, using a band for assistance can allow you to practice it. You can start with a thick band or multiple bands, and reduce the assistance as you improve. Anchor the band to the bar and place one or both feet in it. Ensure it's in a secure position and won't slip off your feet. Then allow a slight swing forward and initiate the muscle up just as you begin to swing back. The band will help lift you up and over the bar. To do this on the base bar, position the band under the hips and hold the bar with a false grip. Allow the body to drift forward slightly and initiate the pull just as you begin to move back. If you can do the muscle up quickly and want to unlock the slow variation, you need to be comfortable with the false grip and strong at the top of the pull up. Doing paused pull ups with a false grip is a great way to develop these attributes. To work on the technique, you can perform muscle up negatives. Lower as far as you can with the dip and maintain a false grip through the transition phase. When you first start trying this, it's normal to drop quickly. Just have the intention of moving at a slow and even pace and with practice, you'll be able to control the movement. For related training routines, check out the muscle up programs in the Base Blocks app.